Hello everybody, this is B-U-Z-Z Buzz here with another Clash Royale replay. Today I'm doing some 1v1. There are There's two days left until the season resets and Supercell is releasing the best, most hypest update right now. And I, you know, I have to clean my underwear a few times because I am so excited. They are releasing some really cool features, some permanent party modes i believe like to touchdown which i am so excited for i love touchdown you guys already know that but this is going to be extra exciting and something that is the best part of what they are going to release is a rewind feature you guys if you've watched my replays you already know that i have been practically begging supercell to give us a rewind feature i'm pretty sure other big uh youtubers as well Clashers have mentioned to Supercell that they do want a rewind feature. So Supercell is giving the people what they want. And we the people, we love you Supercell. We appreciate you. You are some handsome and some beautiful people. Yes, you are. And that's just the truth. Now, right now, I do have to make something happen here. My Sparky does fall too. This baby dragon, unfortunately, that baby dragon, I don't know why I dropped that royal giant. I thought I had the elixir, but I didn't. Thankfully, he did drop a lumberjack because uh, he didn't need to. He really didn't need to. Let's see what he's going to do here. I'm going to have to put some extra, extra defense down. Jao Paulo is my opponent. He is in clan 50 tons de beer. The BR, the BR, right now, this attack on the left side, right side, right side, I gotta tap my shoulder to remember which side is right and which side is left, oh my goodness, the balloon does so much damage, man, hey, Supercell, if, if you're still, if you're still listening, <clears throat> the balloon does a lot of damage, <clears throat> <laughs> Coming from a Sparky user, Supercell is basically laughing at me. They're like, bruh, don't, just don't even right now. We already gave you your replay. Don't push us. And I will listen to you, Supercell. I'm sorry. This guy is kicking my butt. Like, I'm just going to keep this uh, as basic as I can. But my butt is basically red. And I accidentally put that down, and I think I just lost that right side tower because if he puts um if he puts a balloon, I'm dead. I basically only have two forms of anti-air defense. That's my balloon. Uh, sorry, uh, that's my bats, and uh, that's my other guy there. Trying to make this attack happen. Definitely gonna lose that left side. I'm gonna try and set up a. Definitely losing that right side. I'm going to try and set up a left side assault right here. He does have to deal with that right side. I need that prince to hit it one more time. He doesn't, and I think I just lost because of that. But I'm still going to try here. Hey, I think I got this. Nice. Hey, let's go. That's why you don't ever underestimate opponent. Opponent can at any time turn the tide of war. This is why. Never, never under any circumstances. Underestimate your opponent. Oh my god, I put bats. That's a risky choice, dude. But I'm doing it. I'm putting full pressure, dude. I don't even care. Like, if that balloon... Oh my god, this, this lumberjack could actually take my tower. Oh, oh my god! Let's go, barrel! Yeah, I look up, I see the barrel up there, and I'm like, okay, this is over. The barrel is so strong. So strong. I'm gonna drink my coffee. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Milky goodness. This Valkyrie on the defense from Batman. Oh my god. Batman plays Class Royale. I knew it. I knew it. I, I just I just had a feeling. I had a feeling. I'm like, you know, 
there's one superhero that probably plays Clash Royale. <laughs> it's Batman. Batman and Spider-Man. Those are the two that play Clash Royale on a hundred. I mean, what are you going to do when you're fighting crime? And you just, you know, you, you got to get your gaming in because let's just be real. They are gamers and, you know, being gamers, they got to get their gaming in, you know, so. Nice. So this should be an easy, easy clap. Easy D, easy clap. Easy dub. Arrow's going to come down to support Batman's laser turkey there. He did invest in the high tech dragon he does have the money for it after all he is bruce wayne should i know that i don't know i don't know but i gotta make this attack happen on the left side here batman does tornado he's probably gonna fireball no he does valkyrie i'm gonna zap this i don't think my sparky's gonna survive that yeah okay another turkey coming in here I think he's got arrows so I actually need to be careful I'm gonna force his offense sometimes you got to make people make choices you know so I, I that's that's actually how my deck is designed technically it's designed to force the opponent into making a bad choice it's that kind of deck okay I actually might lose a tower here this is a big push coming in. It's because my Sparky's not in the best spot. I think he's going to get zapped. No! Nice! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, he lost aggro! Nice! He's got 10, 15 seconds, there's no, there's just no way I got this. It's in the bag, where's my bag? Fill her up, fill her up. Here comes the giant, this guy's got nothing. I don't know why he put the golem there. I guess he's, I don't know, I don't know. But I earned my sip of coffee. Mm. 29 trophies in the bag. Let's continue our pursuit of happiness. Mm. Now you guys might be wondering, why does my deck sort of work? I'm gonna tell you something about this game. This game is not about your deck. It's about you. And that is why I love this game. You know what? I'm going to drop some philosophy here on you guys. Clash Royale is the greatest game on mobile. And it might just be one of the greatest games of all time. And you know what? I can make that claim. Why? Because I am almost 30 years old. I come from the generation that played 8-bit games, bruh. I remember... I remember, I don't even know the name of them. <laughs> I just remember them. Um, I mean, the only one I guess I do remember is Pong. It's kind of as 8-bitty as it gets. Easiest to remember. But, uh, yeah, no, I do come from that generation. And um, I, I remember my first console was, uh, like, my personal first console. The one I begged my papa to get me, a hard-working immigrant man. He got me a Nintendo 64. God bless him. Father, I love is you. He got me that N64 and I played that Nintendo. I played that uh, Super Mario 64 until the cows came home. And we did not have cows. So I did not stop playing because they never came home. And yeah, that's what it happened. Basically, it's the best. It's the best. Like, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you guys. It was the best of times. And right now, this guy's trying to set up a... Elixir pump on the right side. Anyway, I'm gonna finish what I'm trying to say. So basically because I came from that generation I just have a little bit of a different perspective on 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 Clash Royale. Clash Royale to me is a tower defense game Um, Hang on I gotta make this attack happen. Nice. We clicked it. We clicked it.
Oh, what? Who even does that, man? Shoot, please shoot. Oh, thank God. I think I lost. Bro, who has... Look at this guy's deck. Oh, my God. He just mirrored that. That's the clutchest goblin you've ever seen on the left right there. The clutchest goblin. Sorry, guys. I can't... I know what I'm trying to say. I haven't lost my train of thought. I have not lost my train of thought. But I do need to focus for just two more seconds. We're good. We cleared it. Peace. Mm. Mm. Peace! <laughs> oh, that was that was rough. When he dropped that X ball, I actually I actually like I lost it a little bit. I actually lost focus. I had to I, I stood up more straight. My my spine became more aligned. My eyes became more wide and my focus became clear. It's not because of the coffee. I just, you know. Mm. Anyway, guys, the reason this is the best game ever, it is a tower defense game. There's so much balance in this game that people are just not aware about. Like, the targeting in this game. I mean, there are a few times where the targeting is absolute dog poo-poo. And it's like, bro, like, what are you doing? Like, you couldn't have hit the other guy. But some of the times that happens, other of the times, it doesn't happen. It's one of the reasons. Another reason is because of the diversity of this game. The spells, the uh, way the spells work. It just there's so much in this game that allows you to play with so much versatility like if i go right now up here people like to talk about the meta and whatnot let's go look at the meta let's go look at leaderboard let's look at the top decks right now samuel basato wow my guy is up there dude i like see this guy all the time in tv royale wow yeah mother witch is on a rampage right now Along with the Elite Barbarian. So as you guys can see, the top three decks are absolutely not... Yeah, they're nothing alike. Nothing alike. Oh my god, are they nothing alike. So, let's look at the consistencies. E-Barb, yeah, you might say, okay, E-Barb is a consistent among these decks. And a Royal Giant. And, uh, Zap. So you might say, okay, well, you're talking about all this diversity of spells. Well, what about Fireball, Arrows? Why aren't people using Snowball? Uh, where's the Lightning? I don't see many people using Lightning. Mirror. Where's the Rocket, Buzz? Where's the Freezes, Buzz? Well, you know, I'm curious too. So let's go find out. God, where is it? Leaderboards. Jeez. Jeez. You know what? Actually, I want to check out TV Royale real quick. Let's look for a freeze here because it's like pretty, it's pretty, like you can see all the decks right away. Yeah, so there's no freeze. There is a tornado there. I did see a lightning. Yeah, there's another lightning right there. Rage, uh, poison, fireball, tornado. So arrows is right there. Earthquake as well. Uh, there's a rocket. It's a level 9 rocket. Clone, mirror. They are low level. There's a snowball. Hmm. Hmm. Another earthquake. Yeah, rocket. Okay. So there could be a bit more diversity here, but you know what? Supercell has done a fantastic job at balancing the game. They have changed it up. I did see the recent update. Um, guy, you want to look at it? Actually, I have it. Hold on. I had it open. I was just looking at it. This went from a 1v1 uh, upload to a chillin' with Buzz upload. So let's go see. Yeah, so Furnace got changed. So the first one is Fire Spirit. They changed it. They changed it in a crazy way. They changed the damage. It's HP substantially. It can jump from farther and there's only one now from three. So that's a big change. So now Furnace, instead of dropping two, only will drop one. Two extra waves. Wow. That's loony. Sight range increase. What is even sight range? Is that a thing? They have to see? What? What? 
Okay, even if this looks like a buff at first glance, this is actually a nerf. There's a common scenario when one elite barbarian gets destroyed. Oh, it's like, oh, okay, I see. <laughs> I'm here talking about how great this game is. And I'm like, what is sight range? Durr. Okay, listen, sight range is uh, the aggro range, basically, is how far away they'll aggro from. So, um, you know, when a, when a giant is walking down the lane, he might walk to the left sometimes to go to the tower or whatever, to the right, whatever. And this is the same situation they're talking about. So if he gets distracted by something deployed in the middle of the Reno while others... So they increased his range. So it looks like a buff, but it's not. So now instead of being like blind and going to the first closest thing. So that's not, you know, that's going to be interesting. Rascal, girl, hit faster. Giant scale, double damage to towers. What are you doing, Supercell? What are you doing? Actually, you know what? I like that buff. I like that buff. At first, it really hit me in the heart because like I really... Deep down, guys, Giant Skeleton is my most hated card. Like, I actually despise that card with, like, the darkest parts of my heart. Like, if I'm just going to be honest with you, I hate that card. I hate the blow-up. So when they nerfed its damage, I was a blast. But now they're doubling its damage to towers, which is good. Because that's the whole point of getting him in. It's not so that he kills your incoming push, which is what made him annoying. Yo, Supercell is really intelligent, man. They're making all these high IQ changes to the game that is actually making it way more fun. Cannon hit increase by 10%. Cannon cart increased in a destroyed state by 10%. Golem death damage reduced. That's a big deal. With this change, it should be fairly easier to defend golem pushes with smaller troops. Yeah, yeah that's a big change. Wizard reduced hp dies to fireball that's clutch because that was a big deal that was an annoying thing all right so those are the big changes i'm gonna go back to playing some clash royale i wonder if this is gonna save because uh, we'll see i'm gonna play maybe like two more games get a couple games in me yeah, i can't like, I'm not the kind of guy that plays, like, 40 games in a row or whatever. I can't do it. Like, yesterday I played Fortnite with Runs on Water. He is another YouTuber. Go check him out if you're into Brawl Stars content. And he also does Fortnite. And um, he does a variety of games, if I'm honest. He's just a good YouTuber to watch uh, for gaming content. And he, we were playing Fortnite, right? So... What happened is we lost the first two games. We won the third one, right? But I gotta focus for a second here. And when we won that third one, I just stopped playing because I'm like, I'm done. You know, I got my dub. I'm happy. Ooh, that left side. Yeah, you know it. This is why I love this deck. There's so little my opponent can do to this pressure. Look at this. He has to make a choice. Are you gonna take big licks from that Sparky, or are you gonna eat? Uh, are you gonna lose your tower? You know what I'm saying? Like this is the power of this deck. I am so in love with this. Yeah, he's gonna give me the game. He gave up. That's an easy dub right there. Easy dubs. Easy dubs all around. All around. You know what, guys? And by guys, I mean like the three of you that really watch my stuff. By three of you, I mean like me and two other people. Um, so, <laughs> it's so true, though. It's so true. Oh my goodness. Hang on, guys. I just gotta fix my settings real quick around me. Yeah, so a big thing about this game that I really wanted to mention, because I didn't get to mentioning it earlier, I didn't lose my train of thought. I just had to refocus. <laughs> Is that it's so good? It's such a good game. So much diversity, so many cards. We went over the cards, we went over the changes in the cards. There we go. And, like, you know that that's why I have a weird deck because the deck isn't about the what you have, it's not about the meta. I mean, you guys did see a lot of Elite Barbarians, yeah, but. Did you see only Elite Barbarians? No. Did you see only Royal Giants? No. Because there's so many potential, so much potential. Now, here's the thing. 
Are we saying that my deck is an 8K or a 7K deck? Absolutely not. That's 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 a different. That is technically what meta is. It's like yo, uh, these cards are so strong right now that good players are exploiting those cards because good players rotate their decks. So even Muhammad Parsa, who is a one of the best players in the world, who I have casted a replay of quite often. Let's see if we can find him. He's probably on um, OKK192. Okay, Bro, this guy's showing up so much right now. Hmm. Which is kind of weird because everybody's playing. So you would think that there would be more. But there isn't. <sighs> I really want to find Muhammad Parsa. Give me a second here, boys. Bet fast. Bet fast. Bet fast changed this deck. Look. Bet fast hearts expo battle deck elite barbarians. Even the man him self changed his deck that look he's even in the clan row two because everyone's up there they just want to compete with each other and they know that these are the most op cards and you just can't deal with them without um without really joining them yeah so this is really interesting this is super interesting ah i could go over this all day but I, i'm gonna play one more i, th I th i'm at 5800 right now which is not too shabby. Do I have a goal in mind? Not really. Do I want to hit 6k? Yeah, it'd be nice. He will drop that Valkyrie in a decent spot, but not that good of a spot. My guys will still get a lot of licks off here. I'm going to drop a Prince because that's kind of all I got right now. I, if I did have a Sparky, I definitely would have used the Sparky. I'm going to let him absorb this incoming push because it's still very strong. Sometimes, guys, I used to put my Sparky back here and it would often get rocketed. And I hated everything about that. So now I don't even bother. I just put my Giant. If they want to rocket a Giant, go ahead. I don't care. I think I just lost my... Yeah, I did. It's all right. We defended for Queen and Country. Now, here's how this attack works. It doesn't. I'm going to Sparky in the back. <laughs> now, if he does zap, I'm going to take a lot of damage. But that's why I put the barrel on the left, so I could force a zap, a potential zap there. Now, here's what I need to do. I need to rotate. Come on. What it? Okay, I'm bad. I meant to put the giant, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I lost. Got push. Um, yeah. At least she got a shot off there, but I just lost my goblin. Are you kidding me? That was a decent spot, though. It is what it is. Now, if he keeps dropping a Valkyrie on my barrel, I am going to keep getting... Oh. I will be getting Alexa advantages, but not anymore. That was just a lucky play. That happens from time to time. This game does not necessarily have... I mean, there, there are aspects of luck, if you want to call it that, but, like, I don't... I don't know. I just don't really like to. I just lost my Sparky. I should have put a Giant. Yeah. This might work out. Now, I'm going to pressure the right side as soon as he drops his uh, his main his main boys here. Actually, no way. I need to defend this because he has... Uh, he has... Uh, what's it called? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I know he's going to mini peck of the right, so... Here's what I got to do. You see, the strength of the prince is what gives me um, all my honor. Sorry, I gotta focus. <laughs> all my honor, I know that made no sense, guys. Bear with me. Okay. With 15 seconds on the clock, this guy already thinks that I'm gonna go right side, but you have to keep in mind, my deck is explosive. It doesn't matter which side I go. Now watch, I expect him to drop. Ooh, that was an interesting choice on his side. Now he did leave the right side now vulnerable. He will Valkyrie it. We can't expect that. Oh, I could lose it. I could lose here. No, 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 no. Why did he go that far? Nice, he connected. That's exactly what we wanted. But we don't want this on the right. He's going hard. I gotta go harder. 
I need to stop these fire spirits because they will end me. It looks like he took a long time to decide and because of that, because of that pressure and he couldn't focus, that's why he lost. He just, he just, he didn't know what to do. I bet if we go to the replay, he had the elixir to do something, but he just didn't know. It's just too much pressure, guys. I love this deck. It's so fun. When you make your deck, always create something that's fun to play for you. This is what makes it fun for me because there's so much pressure. This card is so OP, Skeleton Barrel. It's so OP. And if you leave a giant alone, bro, this guy will destroy a tower on his own. No support needed. He's better than a hog. And he only costs one. And yeah, he's slow. But imagine, <coughs> imagine him walking at your tower. And I got a zap and you got swarm. I mean, you saw in the last game how they used um, Goblin Gang against me. And my zap was able to give my giant enough space to do a lot of damage. Yeah, but should I do a tag cycle? This is my deck in the tag cycle. I've been getting my butt kicked mercilessly. Uh, I kind of suck in it, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to do one more. Let me put my DND on because it's not been on. Yeah, let's do one more. It's going to be a long replay. Let's do a Sir Tag to end it off because I'm not feeling it right now. I need to change my deck. That's the only thing. I should just play. No, you know what? It's a decent deck. I just got to rotate my fireball better. That was my problem last game is I didn't rotate my fireball properly. Properly. Got to rotate it a little better than that. Nice. All right. So here we go. It's going down. It's going down. Oh, look at that. That is hilarious. But I got home court advantage here, folks. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this barrel in on the back there. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm taking big licks, man. Big licks here, guys. Really big licks. Oh, man. I just lost. This is why, like, I needed to change this deck. It's okay. We're trying our best. We're trying our best over here. Okay, I'm gonna fireball for Sizzle My Dizzle. It's going in. Boom, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I gotta defend these blobs. These blobs, the fireball. The fireball. Fireball, man. Bale, 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 bale. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. He thinks it's on the right, but it's not. Oh yeah, that's a connected attack right there, folks. And that tower is toast. It is fresh toast, mind you. The best of toast. You think I'm not gonna fireball that, mate? You think I'm not gonna shoot a fireball? <laughs> fireball? Think again, buddy, think again. Sorry guys, I kind of lose myself a little bit when I'm playing because I just go full competitor, murder everybody mode. And uh, the, yeah, Mike Tyson, you know what I'm talking about? Just straight, I'm a straight killer, man. Killer! Let's go, Lumberjack! Yes, the connection was uh, so dirty. Meanwhile, this Lumberjack thinking he can do what he can here. He ain't gonna do nothing. They don't know me like that, man. Oh my god, this is actually a little bit more damage than I want. Fireball, fireball. Come on, come on, come down. Gotta throw in the lumber. Oh, what? I lost. And he's still alive. I lost. I so lost. Fireballing. Fireballing. Rotating. I'm a rotator. They don't know me like that. I ain't a quitter. Rotate that fireball. Oh my god, I lost. Come on, baby. Oh, it was so close. <laughs> I tried. I really did. Oh, so close. You're so lucky. This deck isn't the best, but man, did it, you know, it really tried its best. 
All right, guys, I think that's it for me right now. That's 30 minutes, about 30 minutes. All right, guys, subscribe down below if you're about that class life. I know I don't really do a good job of marketing my stuff, but hey, I love the game. What can, what can I say? And I will see you guys if you're still here, whatever, in the next replay.